Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. Let's see here, we've got a mixed operations problem here. Um, it actually features some implicit multiplication, so uh, we'll go through this one together if you want, but uh, go ahead and solve this on your own. It's 24 divided by 4 times the quantity, uh, 8 divided by 4, 8 divided by 4 um, inside of parentheses. Uh, so if you'd like to, you could try to solve this one on your own, um, and then we'll come back and discuss this one together. All right, so this kind of falls under the category of some one of the uh, the viral, uh, the more viral mathematics problems that you'll find on the internet. Um, and I want to talk briefly about the order of operations here. Um, what is the order of operations? A uh, lot. Well, some people may uh, may have forgotten it. Um, basically, um, if you're looking at PEMDAS, um, that's one of the acronyms. There's other ones out there, um, like BODMAS, BEDMAS, BIDMAS. Um, but they all really represent the same four steps of order of operations, just some slightly different terminology. Um, but um, Basically, I'll go through it um, through through the idea of PEMDAS, but it's parentheses, number two exponents, number three multiplication and division, left to right, uh, and then number four addition and subtraction. Uh, the big thing that a lot of people forget is that multiplication and division have equal precedence, and they're just solved left to right. Uh, and then addition and subtraction uh, are also equal precedence doesn't really matter which order you solve them, um, you get the same answer with addition and subtraction. Subtraction is just adding a negative number. Um, so, we're looking at this problem um, through the terms BODMAS, which as a more familiar acronym used in the UK, um, that would be brackets, orders, multiplication and division left to right, and then addition and subtraction. Uh, you get the same answer as PEMDAS, it's just that instead of parentheses they refer uh, to the symbols as uh, grouping symbols as brackets and then orders um, it includes exponents but um, orders is like a more generic term it also includes like uh, square roots um, exponents factorials really anything that would be considered shorthand um, for repeated multiplication so you've got all these different acronyms the PEMDAS the BODMAS the BEDMAS the BIDMAS they all really give you the same answer um, but it's a viral problem um, due to really two things. This problem is viral really due to implicit multiplication, um, which there's some historical context for uh, giving uh, implicit multiplication precedence over explicit multiplication uh, or division. Um, and then there's also confusion over the obulus, which um, is often really not recommended to be used as a division symbol, um, but uh, we'll go through and discuss this a little bit more. Um, al although there is historical context uh, that I mentioned for implicit multiplication having precedence um, over explicit multiplication and division, um, the modern interpretation of the order of operations really treats implicit and explicit multiplication the same. If you're looking at PEMDAS, or BODMAS or any of those acronyms, um, multiplication and division are considered to have equal precedence and they're just solved left to right. There's no precedence given to implicit multiplication. Um, that, that's not the case. Now, a lot of people misunderstand PEMDAS. They'll say, well, PEMDAS tells me the P. It means that you solve parentheses first. And I keep hearing that all the time. Well, you've got to resolve the parentheses or you have you have to clear the parentheses. You have to do the parentheses first. Um, but what a lot of people misunderstand is that the way PEMDAS is designed, or the way PEMDAS is defined, the P of PEMDAS only refers to solving what is in between the parentheses, not what's outside of the parentheses. Uh, so there's a lot of misunderstanding um, on that. And when I say modern interpretation, I'm really referring to mostly over the last 100 years or so. Um, the, the old interpretation of the obulus also, um, and this goes all the way back to the book Teutsch Algebra, um, back I think in the year 1659, a Swiss mathematician. Um, the old interpretation of the obulus was that everything to the left 
should be divided by everything to the right. Um, that's an old interpretation, and um, it's really today uh, with the obulus, and you also have uh, the solidus, which would be like the, your forward slash. Um, those are two division symbols that do not have grouping properties. Uh, the way they're looked at today, they do not have grouping properties. Um, you'd be better off using the vinculum, which is a horizontal fraction bar. Um, that does have grouping properties because you can easily draw, uh, you know, right in the numbers above or below the line. Um, and again, I mentioned, I just mentioned that the division symbols, uh, the obulus, um, which is the line with a dot above and dot below, and the forward slash or the solidus, um, do not have grouping properties. Only the vinculum has grouping properties that do not require additional parentheses. Um, and then, you know, what is implicit multiplication? I do see some people who forget that when you see this 4 outside of the parentheses, they actually forget that this is implied multiplication. So you're implying multiplication by this, you know, multiplying 4 by what's inside of the parentheses. Um, so yeah, what is implicit multiplication? I just mentioned that. It's this right here, 4 times what's inside of these parentheses. Um, according to PEMDAS and BODMAS, again, you solve what is inside of the parentheses. Um, so, <clears throat> to starting out with this, we uh, we don't have any uh, parent. Well, we do have parentheses, right? We have 8 divided by 4, which is 2. Uh, the second step, exponents, well, we don't have any exponents here. Uh, so we move on to step number 3, which is our multiplication and division left to right. So following PEMDAS and BODMAS, that would mean you do the 24 uh, divided by 4 first. 24 divided by 4 is 6. And then we're left with the multiplication. Uh, so 6 times 2 is what? Well, that's easy. That's 12. Um, now, a lot of other people are misunderstanding PEMDAS. You know, so I say 6 times 2 is 12. Um, you, know, you can solve this on the scientific mode calculator on a PC, a Windows computer, and you will get 12. Um, you can type this into your Android cell phone calculator, and you will get 12. I believe the same is true of an iPhone. I do not have an iPhone, um, but most scientific calculators are going to get 12. Uh, some older Casios were programmed for implicit multiplication. Um, there's just a few models that I know of that are like that. Very cheap dollar store calculators do not work in expression mode, so you would get the wrong answer with those anyway. They're, they're, those use what's called immediate execution mode. And you also find that with the Windows PC, if you have this left in standard mode and not scientific, um, that type of calculator will solve immediate execution mode as well. So, um, and I know there's some people out there that will claim that PEMDAS means you do multiplication before division. Uh, again, that's incorrect. Um, there's... A lot of people that think PEMDAS is a six-step checklist, or they think BODMAS is a six-step checklist, and um, that's incorrect. So anyhow, the answer would be 12 uh, using the order of operations. Again, I mentioned some scientific calculators were programmed to give precedence to implicit multiplication. Uh, and I mentioned, too, some work in immediate execution mode. Uh, and so they work differently. There's different input methods on calculators. Uh, so you need to understand how your calculator works if you're going to use one. Uh, so again, I hope this video has been helpful. Went on for a little bit, but I wanted to describe some of the background of why the problem is viral. So anyhow, I hope everybody's having a great day. Look forward to seeing everybody in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.